still be here talking because this is my form of therapy. I uh, had my surgery up in Michigan, and one of the things that is very important is support and being with other folks. And because it's up in Michigan, I can't get to support meetings. It's not my normal way to kind of sit in a group and talk anyway, but um, it's very important to the support. So thank you. You're, you are my psychiatrists for <laughs> and uh, I hope you don't bill me 190 bucks an hour but <laughs> um, when Annette a couple months ago we were sitting at the pool and she said oh would you speak at our group and I said sure because that's what I'd say before I even thought out what group it was and she said it's the Association of Operating Room and Nurses and I said oh well what would I say to a group of nurses? I, I've been in nurses. I'm not a doctor. I'm learning medical. Um, I can talk to people that are going to have weight loss surgery, but I wouldn't know what to say. Um, besides, you know all the stuff about the surgery and the procedures and whatnot. And she said, just tell us your experience with us. And I said, well, this kind of represents that, because when I was wheeled into the room, I met you all for your once. The mask went on my face, I got to seven, and then I was asleep. I woke up in recovery. So I saw your equivalence for about 30 seconds. You did a fantastic job during the 30 seconds. <laughs> um, but I, she said, no, 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 I don't, we don't want to know that. We know the, the procedures and whatnot. We want to know what it's like from your perspective. You know, if you're a... Uh, if you build cars, uh, you can take one of your company's cars and go drive it and see how it works. If you own a hotel, you can stay in a room and see how well it gets cleaned and all that. It'd be way too much to ask that you, you should go have that bariatric surgery to find out what it's all about. That's, that's too much. So that's what I hope to do is to give you a little bit of um, background on it. That's my goal. So you can see it from, as Annette said, see it, I want to see it from the patient's point of view, or I call me the customer, so I have to pay for that procedure. And obviously you can gain empathy for what people are going through because most people who, who are involved in weight loss surgery, the weight loss is obviously the reason they're in it, but there's a whole lot more to it than their fear of the surgery. There's a lot of reasons why people have weight issues and there's a lot of, of uh, interpersonal struggles that people have. Real quick background on me. Yep, I'm Bill Street and I'm 58 years old. I live in Westville, live in Amherst. Uh, one son you met, I have two other sons. We raised them here um, for 32 years. I did travel around the country as a consultant to the gas and electric utility industry. And um, while that offered a lot of opportunities to go and see a lot of things, it also meant that I was constantly buying steak dinners and Manhattans and all kinds of stuff on other people's nickels. So it was real easy to gain a lot of weight. And it was also real easy to say, gee, it's about uh, midnight and I have to get up at six so I'm not going to work out today. And that um, lifestyle began to uh, keep me from doing the things that I really like to do, like ride my bicycle and play soccer and hike and garden and, and things like that. Um, snow skiing is impossible when you weigh 400 pounds. And actually, my bike said no to me, <laughs> 400 pounds. It just said no mas, you can't get on <laughs> So in 2010, I did, I weighed 404 pounds. My blood pressure was rising. My blood sugar was marginal, my cholesterol was high. I couldn't do the things I wanted to do. I had uh, <coughs> investigated a lot of, or I had done a lot of things to try to lose weight and, and get healthy. Um, but it, it just, it didn't work. And, oops, you warned me off, I have to be careful. Um, I had, gastric bypass surgery on October 4th, 2010. On October 3rd, 2011, one year later, I weighed 202 pounds. I weighed half my former weight. Um, some people said I was half something. <laughs> um, and I said, no, I'm half everything, that's it. But um, today, blood pressure is perfect, blood sugar is perfect, my cholesterol is actually low. So I, I get that from doing things like Five months after surgery, I was training for a 5K and I ran at that fall or that spring. Uh, seven months later, I was riding a 400 mile bike ride around Ohio. And uh, for me, the thing that was probably the best, the thing that really meant the most to me was I could fit in airplane seats. It's really handy when you fly around the country for your job, theater seats. And actually, I remember the first time I got in the back seat of the car and said, 
which is the back seat of a car. <laughs> it has been a couple of decades since I've been able to do that really comfortably. Just real quick to, to show you, I wasn't always having.